What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Vintagecraft. Uh, in our last episode, we did a bunch of exploring. Some dying. Well, we didn't die, but people we were with died. <laughs> we killed a bunch of raids, had a lot of fun, and I've decided that today we're going to do some more building, but not here. So today what I want to do is I want to redesign this outpost. I think this is going to be a... That was odd. <laughs> Let's... I know I'm left-handed, but, you know, not in Minecraft. Um, what I want to do is... This is going to be so tough. What I like to do is actually build a structure for these things. I feel like we're going to die. <laughs> I feel like these outposts did not get the love they probably deserve. Uh, they're, they're not as nice as they could be. And I want to make... I don't think a usable village out of this. Now, these things are going to not stop spawning, so this is going to be almost impossible. So what I want to do is I want to actually run around here. I've got like two stacks of torches. I'm going to torch as much of this as we can and hope we can stop a bunch of these spawns so that at least we can maybe do a little bit of building here. And then I'll explain what my plan is. Let's hope that stops them somewhat. Uh, I got arrows all over in me here. So what I want to do, they've actually stopped pretty good. That's that's good. So what I want to do, I know a lot of people have, you know, previously done this, where they've upgraded this little this uh, outpost to be like a village or whatever. And I really want to do that now. My idea for this is basically I'm going to treat these guys kind of like orcs. Uh, kind of like Warcraft orcs, but basically not, you know, bones and tusks and stuff, but along the still kind of like marauder type style builds. So what I want to do is I want to redesign this and then I want to put like some tents around, you know, there's a big hole right here. That would be a really good place for like where they would store like the ravagers for the raids and stuff. Um, or, or bad guy or, uh, captives or, or whatever. Um, I also want to make this place so that we can use this as a farm. So we're going to be able to get, what's that? That's right. Eat it. We're going to be able to get, uh, a lot of our raids from this. We'll be able to get uh, bad omen up to six pretty easily if we build this right. And eventually this world, the border expands. And the reason for all this is eventually we're going to work on the village where me and Sofa killed all the villagers in the last episode. <laughs> We're going to work there eventually, and we're going to turn this these two things into a place where we can get some raids so we can do some very unique uh, creeper explosions to get some heads, as well as some totems of undying, some emeralds, etc. So anyways, I'm going to start working on this, and I will bring you guys back when I have a little bit of a layout. Alright, I think I'm ready to build. So, what I've done... I just lowered some of this ground just because this is gonna get kind of annoying. And unfortunately, these guys are dumb. They're built in a valley. So our outpost is like down a valley and like, you know, Anakin's gonna have the high ground over here and these guys are gonna die. So we're gonna have to kind of uh, adjust this a little bit, but that's fine. For now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start ripping this thing apart. And the first thing I wanna do is rip these walls out. Not bad, not bad. This is coming along pretty decently, actually. So, what I'm going to do, though, I don't like this dark... What is it? The dark oak? This is coming down. Go away. Do not like. <laughs> we are going to replace all... We are going to replace this with uh, spruce that goes up. I know I use a lot of spruce, but I think it looks a little bit nicer. I don't know why. I think the contrast is better. It's something about this dark oak that just bugs me. and I don't know what it is. Really, guy? 
jerks, go away. You too. You've been evicted. Get out. Uh, what I have to do though now is we are going to replace this dark oak that goes all the way up there with brick. And then we go work on the second floor here. So this, this door here is going to go all the way through to this side. So this will be a mirror on this side. And then these ones will be will be filled in. We'll actually put the same kind of holes here. We'll put trap doors to cover it so they have like a way to, you know, shoot from inside, whatever. All right, so I think I got this tower mostly done. Mostly. Anyhow, it's looking interesting. Uh, I definitely changed the design quite a bit. It's a little bit wider. You know, it's a little, a little, little more interesting in my opinion. I'm not sure I'm fully in love with it yet. Uh, you can see we got these little murder holes here so they can block it off. Uh, we wanted it so it looks like there's a gate so this can be like sealed or whatever. I haven't done anything on the inside yet and as you can see if I can get up this is in the way now. <laughs> what I have to do is fix the floor. Let's fix the well. Anyhow we have to fall. Oh this is annoying. We have to remove, remove this floor. Uh, I've taken parts of this out, made it a little bit higher. We might lower this actually. I don't know yet. But one thing I do have to do is I'm actually going to expand this out. So you come down, go out one more. I want this to look like, like the logs are laying across here. And I actually have one more detail I want to add. So at a few different spots throughout this, what I want to do is I want to take, let's say here, I want to put a composter. Now the reason for that, as you're putting like logs across in certain places now, if I do this a few spots, it actually looks like there's rope wrapped around here, which is super cool from a distance especially. Let's take this down. You can see it just adds a little bit of texture. So if I do one like down here a little ways and few other spots, the only bad thing is you can't do it on a on a horizontal plane because it doesn't rotate and it looks kind of dumb. But going upwards, it looks super cool. So I'm going to add a couple of these and I'm going to finish this adding the logs across the top. I don't know what to do with the roof yet. Uh, I have not decided on that. It doesn't look too bad though, but I'd like to figure out the roof a little bit better. Especially since this can be a little bit wider on top, so the roof needs something. I just don't know what yet. So, I think we've got this pretty much how I want it. I have to redo the roof, like I said before, but I got all the outside done. Everything looks good. I've added a couple of little fires. I, I don't know if I like these. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have them for now, if nothing else. They look interesting. <laughs> so what I want to do, though, I want to add some tents around quickly. I also want to do something with this. I think it'd be really cool if they had like kind of like a makeshift crane here, like down into this, like they're doing something down here. I don't know. Maybe that's the prisoners are kept or something. We also need a place to put the, the farm they're going to have because they're definitely going to have a little bit of farmland and maybe some animals. We'll have to trap some cows. But I think what I'm going to do is we're going to put one of the tents right here. I'm going to put two big tents and like one or two small ones. Uh, maybe like a little supply tent. Dude, if you interrupt me. I swear to God, these guys. Thank you. Um, this is a nice little hole that I keep trapping guys in, which is pretty funny. Really, guy? So, I wanted to put a beast in here. Like, we can't capture a Ravager to put in here, but I kind of wanted it to be like, this is the place that have it. So what I might actually have to do, though, is lower this front part here. Because I'm going to have the tents here. This will be kind of weird. And we might build this up differently. But anyways, we're gonna start with some tents. Now, how am I gonna do this? I believe we're gonna go, the back side of it will start right right here on this edge. And I think it's something like, how many blocks is it? I think it's 15 blocks that I've figured this out as. Two, three, four, five, six. Somewhere like this. They're, they're relatively big, but I'm going to do two big ones and then a couple of small ones. This might be a really weird place, actually. Let me figure out where I want to lay this thing out, and then I'll show you guys what I'm doing. And here we go. This guy's going to... Son of a... Dude, I'm trying to build your damn house. 
you know, these guys are not grateful. They try to build them houses, and they're just like, get off my property, man. They'd rather sleep on the floor. So annoying. <laughs> Anyways, I said go away. Thank you. So, what I'm going to do here is I got the outline of these, um, not like a teepee, but like just like the nomadic tent, I guess. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to have like a pathway come through this way. I'm going to put a couple of big bonfires here, maybe like a a spit or whatever, cooking food and all that. I'm not a huge fan of this. I want to see how this turns out as I make it smaller. All I'm doing is trying to make this like the same version, but a bit smaller. But this kind of looks stupid. So I might do a different style tent for the smaller ones. Uh, I'm also trying to use terracotta here as opposed to wool. But what I want to do is actually, do I have any? I'm not sure if I brought, I brought wool. Did I bring terracotta, terracotta, black terracotta, or actually gray? What I might do is like throw out this, throw a little bit of the different colors of terracotta here. So we get a little bit of uh, like a, what would you call that? Just a change in the texture, I guess. But if I do that between the two between the two tents, it'll look a little bit unique. So we're gonna have an entrance here, there, and here. So I'm gonna spend some time and I'm gonna build these things up and I will show you guys what I come up with. You're playing a dangerous game, my friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> this guy's just hanging out. All the bad guys are spawning and attacking him and I'm trying to save his life. <laughs> this guy likes to live dangerously. Well, guys, I think for the most part, I've got a lot of this build done. Now, I know I was showing a bunch of stuff before and then I kind of skipped ahead, but I kind of got sick for a few days and I'm still losing my voice a little bit. So I'm hoping I can hold out and go through this, but you know, we'll see. So anyways, let's check out what we've got built here. Um, I decided, you know, they needed to have like some kind of gate, but that wasn't like a gate. Obviously guys are like nomadic and they kind of just, you know, live wherever they live. So I thought this was kind of cool to do like a ruin type thing with quite the the wall you know i don't want people getting in and out of here i mean obviously you can still get out if you need to or whatever but i think it looks i think it looks pretty good so far of course it has to be nighttime so we're gonna get all kinds of mobs here in a second very exciting very exciting so i imagine these guys have a lot of like like not destructive properties but like trying to do some industry stuff so i figured go in the hole so I figure these guys like maybe they're doing some work down in in this uh, ravine. So they're you know lowering some wood down. Where get? So <laughs> I'm hoping maybe eventually we come back here and we build something cool down here because obviously these guys they do spawn down here. I need to fix this because it's kind of just hanging. But anyways, uh, I thought it was cool to kind of use the wood cutter and kind of make like an actual saw thing happen here. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, it is weird that we have a bunch of acacia wood and we're not using acacia in any of the builds, but whatever. I don't, I don't really, I'm not really concerned with that to be honest. Uh, then we've got our like little storage hut. I want to do a lot of storage, and this whole place pretty much is. But I figured these guys are like plunderers, the pillagers, they're pillagers. So I figured you know they're gonna when they raid places, they're gonna bring it back and store it or whatever. Um, we've also got a little little wagon. Obviously, they're you know pulled by a ravager or llama or whatever they have going on. Um, I didn't put a wall all the way around here because I figured this ravine works. And then we made this, you know, oh, jerk. We made this so that way, you know, if anyone was coming across it, they'd have to fight the current or whatever. And it makes it a little bit more defensive. Uh, I haven't done anything with this little cage. And we have a lot more work we have to do this place eventually. But I figured for now it's it's kind of a good, just a good start. to get You know, looks better than it did. Uh, we have the, the crazy fire pit, which I figured they're, you know, cooking their ravager meat or whatever whatever meat they've got uh, handy. Oh, guys, I tell you, stop hitting me. Hey. Um, so, you know, a couple of fires. We've also got a couple of, well, I did three, like, tents. Uh, they're all kind of a little bit different. This one's a bit smaller. The interiors are different. Like, this one's kind of like your, maybe your captain guy. Um, you know, it's got a little desk here, a bunch of stuff stored. And obviously like a little more lavish bed, which is right next to the fire, which is kind of funny. Um, this one's kind of similar, except for it's a little bit smaller. A little bit like less like lavish bed thing here. Still has a little desk, uh, a little sitting chair, whatever, storage. 
And this one I haven't finished yet. I'm not really sure what to put in here. I kind of wanted to make it like a uh, like a kitchen area, like guys that sit here when they're eating their food or whatever. I haven't done a lot of beds yet, which I realize that now. Oh my god, go away, mom. Can somebody sleep, please? Anyways, uh, I also put on the top of all these buildings, you can see they have the campfire here, so smoke goes up and it actually gets stuck right here. What I've also done is put another campfire with the hay bale out the top, so they're kind of more like taller and they look a little better. Over here, we have a zombie who is going to die. And we have kind of our like Ravager pit. And I figured like, you know, they probably have like a little place to like keep these guys because obviously these guys don't have one until they're actually raiding. But I figured they kind of like can't have just a Ravager run around. These things are like wild animals, you know? So I figured they throw a little food down here and just kind of keep them in like whatever um, hidden. And then I heard you. Where are you? I heard something jump down. Anyways, and then we have like the the entrance way out, which is kind of like the a bad little back road there. I guess I can show you guys. It kind of goes outside of the actual um, walls for this place, but it wasn't. What what just happened? Um, okay. Uh, it kind of goes like this natural little little flow through here, which is kind of a cool way to get like in and out as well as with as well as with the gate over here which i think is super cool that we have multiple like entrances or whatever and you know it's not super secure obviously this place is kind of thrown together these guys aren't aren't super strategy type people they're just pillars so what i want to do though in the future is obviously make this a little bit of a farm so what we're gonna do eventually is use these trap doors i've already started digging a bit you can see there's guys down there. So these guys will walk across here, they'll fall, and we'll actually be able to kill them and be able to use this as like a farm. So we're not having to run around and, and kill them all. What I'd like to do though also is put a dock out here and put some boats or whatever. I just gotta figure out what a pillager boat would look like. I have no idea. But that's uh, something for a different day. Uh, the only other thing that I've done, well, not that we've done, we have to do, um, obviously the inside of this is all is all done up. There's uh, doors here so like they can shoot out the sides. Well, th this one they can. There's a vine there. Um, and then as we go up, there's kind of like a little table here. I think where we put like a map on it, a little war room type thing. And there's nothing up here. So I gotta figure out what to put up here that would kind of be like useful for like a, a spy. Look like an outpost, obviously. But I think for the most part, guys, I think this build turned out really, really good. I'm super proud of this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, anyways, <laughs> this might end up being a shorter episode, but my voice is killing me, uh, unfortunately. But I'll be back very shortly, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next one.